Hello everyone, welcome to my uh, 23rd episode of my podcast and my podcasts are always about acting, about actors, about you. Let me uh, wish my other <coughs> audiences Namaskar Te sare pehen prama nu Devinder Singh Tillon de vallo dove hath jod ke bade hi maan pyar satkar de naal sat sri kal All right Let's begin Today I'm going to be talking about another uh phase in our life where we wake up early in the morning and all of a sudden we have this new urge of becoming an actor <laughs> well it happened to me okay now you want to start acting you're in school and uh, you went out for a movie with your friends and when you came back out of the theater you had this strong urge to become an actor why because you saw the hero or the leading guy with all these ladies and dancing away and romancing the most beautiful lady and uh, you have seen the award shows on television and you see the red carpet and these new actors are walking on red carpet and these new uh young and beautiful looking leading ladies are are uh, uh being interviewed and and people are waving at them they want to get their pictures and uh, selfies with them and they want them to sign the autograph and so on these are good thoughts to have at least you are dreaming and it's good to have a dream so you want to be an actor Now let's be serious about it and I am at this age where I started radio and uh, being on television and doing movies uh, I started with radio first no actually I started with television first and this was in 1970 and in those days I remember they don't have VCRs they used to have these heavy big cameras that you had to put on your shoulder and your shoulder would get sore and so on but and i progressed from television to uh, radio am and then fm and then again going back to uh, television being a news broadcaster and then progressed into being a producer director of the nightly news in punjabi language now but today i want to talk about you my young actors my fellow actors now if you have had a dream about becoming an actor my strong suggestions to you are going to be if you're in school or in college you go on stage schools have school plays colleges have plays then they have uh, uh some acting schools and those students are always looking for some non paid actors and you could be one of them uh just volunteer so to get the fear out or a few for speaking in public or being on stage and not freezing do some school plays get on the stage because every school has school plays so audition for it it's not that even the schools will be very selective when they choose the actors So if you had this urge about becoming an actor then might as well do it do some auditions and then you will get a taste of how this whole business is done So after that 
Every town has community theater. I live in Richmond, British Columbia, Canada, and even Richmond has theater. Every newspaper will advertise about them having auditions for the next uh, community theater play. So if it's not costing you anything, apply for it. Just see if you get selected and then you get auditioned. Okay, so this is how you get into it. Because when you become a full actor, the biggest stumble or the biggest fear is auditions. Auditions because uh, you have to stand in front of uh, five, six people in one room and they are watching you. They are watching every move. As soon as you walk in the room, they have their eyes on you. So sometimes you, you start shivering, you start fumble, you can't all of a sudden remember your lines and there's a fear of rejection. What if they say, no, we don't want you? Well, that can happen. That has happened to me. Actually, I just came back for, uh, from an audition. My, uh, my agent called me. She called me yesterday and uh, she says, Dave, I have an audition for you. You, are bec uh, you will be acting as an emergency room doctor. And she says, everything is sitting on the actor's workbook. That's the website that we go to. And all the information about where the audition is, what's the address, what time, and what's your role. And that's what you have to check. But this we will cover later on when you become an actor. So we are talking about you having a dream of becoming an actor. Certainly. Now, you have to refine your dream. You, you have dreamt you want to be an actor. Kudos to you. Now, you refine your dream. Means refine your acting career that you have just dreamt of. Do you want to be a theater actor? Or you want to do musicals, dancing, and, and then of course, uh, when you have uh, refined it, that means if you're doing musicals, that you will have to go to a dance school and learn dancing and, and uh, singing vocals. Or you want to do films. I do films, I don't do uh, musicals because I don't know how to sing or dance. I just do serious roles. So I have refined my dreams, what I want to do, but today we are talking about you. So do you want to do theater? Or you want to do musicals? Or you want to do films, like Hollywood or Bollywood films? Or you are just happy with television, like soap operas? We have soap operas in, in Hollywood and Bollywood. So you can decide what you want to do. Okay? And then, once you have decided what you want to do, now, ask yourself, why do I want to act? And be honest. Okay? Why do you want to be an actor? Ask yourself, is it the movie that you saw and you liked the role and you think you fit in that role? Or you saw the actor, the handsome actor, you saw the award roles or the, the award shows and you felt you should be there being interviewed by these uh, television interviewers and these people from other shows, they want to talk to you, they want to talk to you about your dress and where did you, who designed it and, and uh, what movies you have done and so on. You want that attention or you want to be a big star. 
demanding millions of dollars or you just want to be rich and you found the shortcut of becoming an actor. So you have to define why are you, why are you in it? If you have the ultimate love for acting, you dream, you eat, you sleep, that's all you want to do is become an actor. You're not worried about the rejections and, and shame that you have to face and, and not being chosen after you have done 300 auditions. You have learned to take rejection, but you still want to act. That is love. Love of being an actor. We will talk about this more in our second episode. So let me summarize very, very quickly. You had a dream. You want to be an actor. Define your dream. You want to do musical, stage, or television. And then uh, theater. Or you want to be in front of the camera. Why? You want to go after the money. You want to go after the fame. You want to become a star. This is what we talked about in the first episode. I'll be right back after this episode finishes and I will start the second episode after a short break. If you want to go and grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee or water, you're most welcome to, okay? But come back, I'll be waiting here for you. See ya, bye for now.